Hey there, wonderful viewers. Today, we're diving into some incredibly exciting news that could put an extra $4,800 in your pocket. That's right we're talking about the latest social security boost that has everyone talking, and I'm here to break down everything you need to know about these bonus payments. So, grab your favorite beverage, get comfortable, and let's explore who qualifies for this significant one-time social security boost. First, let me tell you why this topic is so important right now. With inflation affecting everyone's wallets and seniors feeling the pinch more than ever, this potential $4,800 boost couldn't have come at a better time. Many of you have been reaching out to me, asking about these payments, and today, we're going to clear up all the confusion and give you the exact information you need to determine if you qualify. Now, let's get to the heart of the matter. This $4,800 payment isn't a simple, straightforward check that everyone receives. It's actually connected to several specific circumstances and retroactive benefits that some Social Security recipients might be eligible for. The key here is understanding that this amount represents the maximum potential benefit some individuals might receive when claiming retroactive payments, particularly those who delayed claiming their benefits. Here's where it gets interesting if you're someone who reached full retirement age but didn't immediately file for Social Security benefits, you might be eligible for up to six months of retroactive payments. With the average monthly benefit being around $1,800 for many recipients, this could potentially add up to that magical number of $4,800 when you factor in six months of back payments. This is especially relevant for those of you who are just now filing for Social Security, even though you could have filed earlier. Let me paint a picture for you with a real-life example. Meet Martha, and yes, I've changed her name for privacy. Martha reached her full retirement age of 67 last year but decided to keep working for a few more months without claiming her benefits. When she finally decided to file for Social Security this year, she discovered she was eligible for six months of retroactive benefits. With her monthly benefit amount being $1,600, she received a one-time payment of $9,600 to cover those six months she could have been receiving benefits. While this example shows an even larger amount, it illustrates perfectly how these retroactive payments work. Now, you might be wondering about the specific qualifications. To be eligible for these retroactive benefits, you need to meet several criteria. First and foremost, you must have reached your full retirement age, which varies depending on your birth year. For those born between 1943 and 1954, your full retirement age is 66. If you were born after 1954, your full retirement age gradually increases until it reaches 67 for those born in 1960 or later. But here's something crucial you need to know and this is where many people get confused. The retroactive payments are not available if you're claiming early retirement benefits. This means if you're filing for Social Security before your full retirement age, you won't be eligible for these retroactive payments. This is designed to protect you from accidentally reducing your long-term benefits, as claiming early retirement permanently reduces your monthly benefit amount. Let's talk about another important aspect that affects these payments the earnings test. If you're still working while collecting Social Security before reaching your full retirement age, your benefits might be reduced if your earnings exceed certain limits. In 2024, the earnings limit is $21,240 for those who haven't reached their full retirement age. For every $2 you earn above this limit, $1 is deducted from your benefits. However, once you reach full retirement age, these earnings limits no longer apply, and you can earn as much as you want without affecting your Social Security benefits. Here's something many viewers don't realize the decision to claim retroactive benefits isn't always the best choice for everyone. While getting a lump sum payment of up to $4,800, or potentially more, might sound fantastic. It's essential to understand that claiming retroactive benefits means your monthly payments will be calculated as if you had started receiving benefits earlier. This could result in a slightly lower monthly benefit amount compared to what you'd receive if you didn't take the retroactive payments. Let me share another example to make this clearer. Tom, again, not his real name, reached his full retirement age of 67 in January 2023 but didn't file for benefits until January 2024. He had two options, he could either claim six months of retroactive benefits and have his monthly benefit amount calculated as if he started receiving benefits in July 2023, 
where he could forego the retroactive benefits and receive a higher monthly amount based on his January 2024 filing date. The difference in monthly benefits might seem small perhaps $50 100 per month but over many years, this can add up to a significant amount. Now, let's address something that's causing some confusion online. You might have seen headlines or social media posts suggesting that there's a new $4,800 stimulus payment or special bonus from Social Security. It's important to understand that this isn't a new program or stimulus payment it's related to the existing retroactive payment system that's been part of Social Security for many years. However, with recent inflation adjustments and cost of living increases, the potential amount of these retroactive payments has grown, leading to renewed interest in this topic. Here's an insider tip that many don't know about. If you're married, your decision about retroactive benefits could affect your spouse's benefits as well. This is particularly important if your spouse is receiving spousal benefits based on your work record. Before making any decisions about claiming retroactive benefits, it's crucial to consider how this might impact not just your benefits, but your spouse's as well. Let's talk about the application process. If you believe you're eligible for these retroactive payments, the first step is to contact the Social Security Administration. You can do this by calling their toll-free number at 1-800-772-1213, visiting your local Social Security office, or in many cases, applying online through the SSA website. When applying, be sure to have all your documentation ready, including your Social Security card, birth certificate, and any other relevant documents the SSA might request. Something that's absolutely crucial to mention and this is where many people miss out is that you need to specifically ask about retroactive benefits when applying. The Social Security Administration won't automatically offer these benefits, you need to inquire about them during your application process. This is why staying informed and knowing your rights is so important. Now, let's discuss timing. If you're approaching your full retirement age or have already reached it but haven't filed for benefits yet, you might be wondering about the best time to apply. The answer isn't the same for everyone. It depends on various factors, including your current income, health status, life expectancy, and overall financial situation. Some financial advisors recommend waiting as long as possible to claim Social Security benefits, as your monthly benefit amount increases for each month you delay, up until age 70. Here's something fascinating about the current state of Social Security benefits the recent cost of living adjustment, COLA has made these potential retroactive payments more substantial than ever before. With the 2024 COLA increase, many beneficiaries are seeing larger monthly payments, which in turn means larger potential retroactive benefits. This is why we're seeing more attention being paid to these retroactive payment opportunities. Let me share a word of caution and this is important. If you receive retroactive benefits, remember that this is a one-time payment. It's crucial to plan accordingly and not treat this as regular income. Many financial advisors recommend putting at least a portion of any retroactive payment into savings or using it to pay off existing debts rather than spending it all at once. Here's another important consideration that often gets overlooked taxes. These retroactive payments are subject to the same tax rules as regular Social Security benefits. Depending on your total income, up to 85% of your Social Security benefits, including any retroactive payments, might be taxable. It's wise to consult with a tax professional to understand how receiving a large retroactive payment might affect your tax situation. Let's wrap this up with some action steps you can take right now. First, determine if you've reached your full retirement age. Second, calculate how long you've waited to claim benefits since reaching that age. Third, consider whether retroactive benefits would be beneficial in your specific situation. And finally, contact the Social Security Administration to discuss your options. Remember, my wonderful viewers, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your Social Security benefits. Understanding these potential retroactive payments and how they might apply to your situation can make a significant difference in your financial well-being. Don't hesitate to reach out to the Social Security Administration or consult with a financial advisor to make the best decision for your specific circumstances. Before we end this video, I want to remind you to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on important updates about social security benefits and other crucial information for seniors.
Also, drop a comment below if you have any questions about these retroactive payments or if you'd like me to cover any other topics related to social security benefits. Thank you for watching, and remember staying informed about your benefits is one of the best ways to ensure a secure and comfortable retirement. Until next time, take care and make the most of your benefits.